In this video, we are going to talk about structured data and the meaning of the information that Google Windows Tools is showing us in regards to structured data. Now, before we dive deep into all of this, let's talk about why it is important for Google to utilize structured data markups. So uh, let's imagine that someone searches for Jaguar. Now from the word Jaguar, it could mean an animal Jaguar, or it could also mean a car Jaguar. So for Google, it is very important to determine what the user intent is and provide the correct uh, result to it. So one way to help Google to present that correct result is to have a structured data markup to tell Google that, look, the wording that I have on my website for Jaguar is actually meaning the car, but not the animal. And that, that's what structured data markup is for. So to better help search engines understand what you are talking about. Now, there are three different kinds of structured data markups. One is called microdata, which is also known as schema. The second one is microformats. And the third one is RDFA, which stands for Resource Description Framework in Attributes. Now, you probably heard schema code a lot. And the reason for that is major search engines actually back microdata rather than these two other formats. And this is why uh, people talk about schema a lot, uh, because that is the one that major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, Yandex uh, recognize. And if you are interested, I have actually created a post about structured data markup. I'll put the URL in the note, so please feel free to take a look and find out more about structured data. So coming back to structured data in Google Webmaster Tools, uh, let's go through each one of this to get a sense of what each of this means and how that affects uh, your site. So let's start with Hentry. So as you can see, this is related to the post. Uh, we got author missing, updated missing, FN, which is for the image. And if you click on uh, one of this, and actually this live data can provide a better, a more comprehensive information. So here you can see a missing required field updated, author field, H card author is missing. And we can also come back here, take a look at this FN and we can see the name field for the photo is missing uh, probably it's coded wrong or something so this is what essentially google webmaster tool is telling us about that and the way to fix it uh, there are actually a lot of website out there that explains you know how to fix uh, you know, missing author error, entry title, missing update, uh, things like that. Out there, you essentially have to go in and change the code a little bit, and that will fix the problem. Now, we are not getting into details about how to fix uh, these problems because that's not the purpose of this video, but I will provide the URL of uh, these websites that I found uh, in the note. Now let's come back to Google Webmaster Tools again. So in my opinion, and probably quite a few of SEO experts would agree with me that it is not a big deal to not fix these errors. The reason for that is the structured data markup will not directly impact how your site is ranked or Google. Uh, as far as we can see based on the current uh, study data that we see. Now, that doesn't mean Google will change that in the future, 
as of now, since that's not happening, for small businesses or startup companies, uh, we do not recommend uh, fixing this if you do not have the resource to do so. So having said that, uh, it is still important to understand uh, different kinds of data type. So let's continue with this uh, list. So here's the structured data breadcrumb. Uh, as I explained in the other video, breadcrumb is this here. And if you have a problem, you know, Google will obviously let you know. And obviously here there's no problem and you can click on it and test drive the live data. But uh, if you are using content management system, the theme already includes the breadcrumb function and they, there shouldn't be a major problem. But if there's a problem, this is where you will see them. Then moving on to next uh, web page. Again, this just indicates that, okay, this is a web page and you know, there's no problem detected here. Then there's the review and I have few articles that uh, talks about a WordPress theme and I provide a review for those and this is why uh, they are showing here because I apply the schema telling Google or other search engines that these articles are reviews and this is why it's showing under here. Then lastly article so for these two uh, pages uh, there's an article schema applied to it so that's why uh, they are showing up here so that's the sort of overview of what kind of information Google is showing and the meaning of this structured data and if you are interested to know more about structured data uh, please visit uh, schema.org to see how you can implement uh, the code on your website so in next video we'll talk about data highlighter which is a substitute to actually applying uh, structured data schema hard, hard coding uh, on, on your website so i'll see you in the next video